Created by Peter David, El Muerto first appeared in issue 6 and 7 of the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, and that's it. He's never been referenced since. There's a solid chance Peter David forgot he even existed. The Luchador draws his super strength and agility from a magic mask that originally belonged to his father, who claimed it through combat, defeating a wrestling god named El Dorado. El Muerto was forced to face El Dorado as well, but proved too craven to actually fight. Rather than killing him, El Dorado gave El Muerto a second chance to prove himself, tasking him with finding another worthy combatant he could unmask. El Muerto set his sights on Spider-Man, who he challenged to a charity wrestling event. When Spider-Man became aware of his intent, he accidentally hospitalized the wrestler, defeating El Muerto found himself at the hands of El Dorado. Fortunately, Spider-Man stepped in and the pair worked together to defeat the wrestling god. Essentially a forgettable, ineffectual coward, El Muerto is a pointless creation who most likely will never appear again. Unless a misguided Hollywood executive attempts to abuse the Spider-Man license for a quick buck, that is. Look out for Sony Pictures El Muerto, coming to a theater near you in 2024.